Okay, in this video, we're gonna prove that there are infinitely many primes of the form 4n plus one. So in a previous video, we did the same thing for primes of the form 4n plus three, but this is gonna use a slightly different strategy, which makes it um, also an interesting addition. Okay, good, we need a couple of tools in this case that we didn't need in the last case. So if we have P as an odd prime, we say that A is a quadratic residue modulo P if there is a solution to X squared congruent to A mod P. In other words, if there's something like a square root of A mod P. Great, and then the next fact we need is that negative one is a quadratic residue modulo P if and only if P is congruent to one mod four. In other words, P is of the form four R plus one for some natural number R. Obviously, we're looking at primes of this form, so we'll probably make use of this second thing. Okay, good. So let's do the proof. So we're gonna work towards a contradiction. And we'll see that we'll split off into a couple of cases, and each case will lead to its own contradiction. So what we'll start with is let's suppose there are finitely many such primes. In other words, we're supposing that there are not infinitely many primes of the form 4n plus 1. So now let's label them. So let's label them p1, p2, uh, p3, up to pk. So what we're assuming is that there are in fact only k primes of the form 4n plus 1. And now we want to consider the following number. So we want to consider this number, we'll call it capital N, and it will be 2 times P1 up to PK, so we're taking that big product, and then we're squaring it, good, and then we're adding 1. Okay, great, and now notice that this thing is of the form 4 times something plus 1. Good. So we've created a new number of the form four times something plus one out of our primes of that form. So now case number one, case number one, n is prime, but it's not on the list. But it's not on the list, but we said our list contained all of those um, primes of that form. Uh, so it is a new prime of the form 4n plus 1, but that's a contradiction. Okay, good. So now I'll clean up the board and we'll move, up, move on to case two, which is N is uh, composite. Okay, so let's recall where we were. We had P1 to PK were all primes of the form 4N plus 1. We're working towards a contradiction. We set N equal to this quantity of twice the product of those primes squared plus 1. And we noticed that this is in fact of the form 4 times something plus 1 which told us it couldn't be prime because it's not on that list. That was case number one. So the next thing that we want to uh, consider if what if N is composite. So if N is composite, it has a prime divisor. Good. So let's call that prime divisor P. Okay, great. But now, notice that means that P divides N, which is the same thing as N is congruent to zero mod P. Great, so that's the same. But now, let's notice that's the same thing as saying two P1 up to PK squared plus one is congruent to zero mod P. I've just replaced N with our definition of N. Okay, great, but now notice that that tells us that uh, two P1 up to PK squared is congruent to negative one mod P. Great, which notice we have negative one is a square mod P. In other words, negative one is a quadratic residue mod P, which tells us that P is of the form four R plus one. 
So negative one is a quadratic residue mod P, which tells us that P equals four times R plus one for some R, great. But notice, P is a prime, it's of the form 4R plus 1. P1 to PK are all of those form, of, are all of those primes. So that tells us that P equals PI for some I between 1 and K. Okay, great. So now what we'll notice is that PI divides N, and PI divides this thing, obviously. So, and PI divides 2 P1 up to PK squared. Great. Which tells us that PI divides their difference. So, N minus... 2p1 up to pk squared. But notice the difference in those two is just 1. So what we have is pi divides 1. In other words, we have the number 1 is divisible by a prime, but we know that's impossible. So, we re so we've reached our second contradiction, and we've uh, ended our proof. Okay, so that's the end of the video.